What's up YouTube? This is Ronnie Rock. We're going to be uh, doing some brakes and rotors today on my 1998 Ford F-150 Larry. This is, uh, this is my truck. Uh, we got the brake pads right here. And the bearings we're going to have to repack. And the seals. And the rotors of course. These particular ones come with the hubs. This is old school and um, look how <laughs> this rotor looks. <laughs> really grinded it down really good. So we gotta change that out. And uh, the brake pads. So first thing we need to do is take these rims off and, and get started. This is my brother, he's gonna be helping with this procedure here. So what size we have on the back of these calipers? Half inch. Half inch, two half inch bolts. One on the top and one on the bottom. Brake pads. Oh, what? <laughs> Ain't nothing left to it. There's no pad. <laughs> Yeah, that needs to be changed. So we need to remember before we compress these calipers back in to um, raise your hood and you want to put in, uh, open your that oil cap. That a little bit left to it. Open your oil cap. And what is the purpose of doing that? So it doesn't overflow, correct? Got a lot of fluid to bleed out without actually fluid coming out of the... Okay, look, you're going to compress this. You're going to use the old back side of the old brake pad. So you don't push the piston in too far. I'm going to use a 6 inch C-clamp that we got from Harbor Freight. Paid for oh, 5 bucks. Yeah. Once, let's see how you do it. It shouldn't be a problem for me to do the other side. Oh. It's the easy part of it. So all you had to do is change the brake pads. It would take it about 20 minutes. The longest part would be to take the wheel off. Is it 13 for the small ones or half inch? 18 millimeter for the back. 18 millimeter for the back. Okay, we have to get this caliper bracket off two bolts. If you wanted to go with a bigger, bigger brake system, they would have an adapter plate. But this would bolt to that because it would be a bigger piece. Next so thing, make them with a lip anymore. We've got to get this dust cap off so we can get to the screw and get this rotor off. Key. Hopefully we can reuse this <laughs> as long as we don't break it. <laughs> if they're not in bad shape and this is pretty brand new looking. Yeah, they probably did a brake job I'm sure on this truck. I don't know how long ago but I've got it with it had I think 120 something thousand miles. Pull this washer off. Just fits over the boat. And unscrew the nut. So that doesn't need to be torqued. It's just almost hand tight. Tighten it down to where you can't <clears throat> turn the wheel no more. And then you back it off a half a notch. Because you want to you compress the bearings in all the way. And then you want to let off a little bit so they'll have a room to turn. This is a nut, a washer, and then your barren. I 
try to stop from getting my hands all greasy, but it ain't gonna happen. And a flat washer. Some flat wash, some of the flat washers have a groove to match the spindle, which should be right here. Some just flat. Yeah. See, it has the groove in it. Two, two flat spots on the spindle. If it was clean, you could see it. There's your bearing. Solder bearing. Yeah. You got a pretty good bit of wear on them. It's original burns. Got a plastic coating on top. Those, those big tires take put a lot of pressure on your bearings. Yeah, I saw a real monster truck. Now, being that we're not going to be using these hubs, I ain't got to worry about popping this out. This is your seal that holds your inner bearing in it. New rotor compared to old rotor. You can see how much smaller this one is, how much metal got wore off of it. Yeah, I wore the shit out of that thing. This is the Packer bearing that we bought. And we got this from O'Reilly's for 25 bucks, basically. And like I said, it saves you time. Um, we part, uh, priced it at uh, Harbor Freight for $29. So, you could save a little bit of money going to um, O'Reilly's on that. First of all, get you some grease. This is the kind that we're using. This is from Walmart. Um, like four or five dollars or so three dollars this is made for that stuff so you basically insert your grease into the cup and you put your packer in load the band small end down is coming through and you have a freshly packed barn I didn't take very long a couple of seconds to get stuff? this done compared to get this by ah. hand probably would have take what five ten minutes maybe clean out the inner side of the barn wrap some around the outside the inside too I'm gonna put grease and we're gonna stuff grease on the inside between the two races to protect the inner side of the hub from overheating. There's something else you're gonna need. Some brake cleaner to clean off your rotors before you get put them back on. Basically they go with the orange color um, would be facing inside and uh, this is the inner hub that we have here. Um, these are also known as dust caps or seals whatever you want to call them. Brake cleaner? Yeah, we gotta clean all that all, all off of there. Oh, this all's gotta That's come right. off. So the best thing to use without touching your you don't want any fingerprints on your rotor, so wear gloves. Chemical resistant gloves. These are 22 inch rims. Look at all of this embedded metal that I'm gonna have to get out of there. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, so we got the inner seal in there and the bearings and the seal, it's all in position. These are the brake pads that I purchased. These are semi-metallic brand, which a mechanic told me these are the better to get because it stops the squeakiness on, um, I guess, the cheaper ones. 
So that's what we're gonna use. That is shit right there. Look at that. Some bird just took a shit on my truck. Okay. <laughs> These pads, the front pad has a, a little tattletale on it. Little clip sticking out. The back don't slide in the slots. 